This is a rule to help you solve for the powers of 11. The first five rows have the same pattern in Pascal's triangle. For instance, 11 to the fourth is 14,641, uh, which also appears in the fifth row. This is the same coefficients that appear in the triangle. As you can see, the numbers are the same. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 11 to the fourth is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. After the fifth row, it gets more complicated and the rules are a little different. For example, 11 to the fifth is 161,051 and is not the same as the coefficients in the sixth row of the triangle. To solve for the sixth row of the triangle, you must first take, you must first take the first term and add it to the term to the left. Make sure that you put zeros in front of every term that only has one number to avoid confusion. For example, instead of writing just one, write zero one. This is the row. We'll start off with one. That's done. Then we'll go to six. Then it'll become one. Then zero. Then five. And then one at the end. We're adding all the numbers on the left to the number on the previous term. As you can see. This also works in the higher row numbers, such as the seventh row, which is what I have here. You have one, then you have nine, then you have four, then you have eight, then you have seven, then you have one, then you have seven, and then you have one. This is what 11 to the seventh comes out to be. This is a rule to help you solve for the powers of 11, just in case you don't have a calculator, but you do have a Pascal's triangle. Thank you.